On the pole, it'll be the 87 of the Wayne Hawes on his outside. It'll be the 7 C of Derek Cook. Row number two on the inside will be the 48 of Zach Cheevers. On his outside, it'll be the 27 of John Dame. Row number three on the inside, that'll be the 5C of Brian Cook. And on his outside, it'll be the 58T of Stephen Krunswick. And on the inside of row number four, it'll be the 15 of Oakley Ragland. And on the outside there, it will be the 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. Here we go, getting ready to go racing here. Green flag is in the air. Wayne Hobbs out front, your leader. Derek Cook right there on the inside. Here they come out of turn number four. Who's going to be lap number one? Derek Cook taking lap number one. Hobbs is on the outside, though. Great side-by-side -side battle down the back stretch. What a racing going in turn number three. Hobbs staying right there on the outside. Cook staying right there on the inside. Will we have a new race leader? Yes, the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs takes over the lead on lap number two. As they're slicing and dicing up front. The 27 of John Dane goes sideways, coming out of turn number two, bringing out the caution. What a race so far. Two laps in, two different winners as it's been the 7C of Derek Cook. We are on lap number one and lap number two, it was the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs. The 48 of Zach Chevers, young man that's been racing with us in the modifieds for a couple of years now. Having a good run right there in third. 5C of Brian Cook right there in fourth. And a 15 of Oakley Raglan right there in fifth. The 7C of Derek Cook will have the choice between the bottom or the top. He will choose the inside lane. The 48 of Zach Cheevers will go on the outside. It'll be the five C of Brian Cook, and on the outside of Brian Cook, it'll be the 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. All right, here we go. Green flag is in the air. Wayne Hobbs out front. Zach Cheever's right there. Almost three wide coming out of turn number two, but we got troubles in turn number two. The five C, the uh, Brian Cook. But where's right now staying green, but the caution will come out. As Derek Cook and Dwayne Hobbs was racing hard there at the line, but the caution comes out. As the five C of Brian Cook went around there in turn number two. Dwayne Hobbs and Derek Cook have been going after it this whole start of the race. Zach Cheevers is right there as well. Derek Cook on the inside. Zach Cheevers on the outside. Cheyenne Bauman on the inside of row number three. Oakley Ragland on the outside of row number three. For those of you that have been around the midway for a while, remember Jamie Ragland. Oakley is Jamie's son. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. Hobbs off with a great restart there, but there goes Cook around there in turn number two. As the caution will come out. So the 7C of Derek Cook going around the 
had some help there from the 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. And right now we're going to be single file as the Wayne Hobbs is your leader. Zach Cheevers in the 48 right there in second. Good run there for, for him. The 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. We're dropped to the tail of the field there. As we've got two cars over there in turn number two. Safety crew over there will work there for the 7C. Derek Cook. Oakley Rag going right there in third. So Dwayne Hobbs joining us here for opening night of the 2021 racing season. Got a heat race win. Right now he is leading the feature. And here we go. Here comes the 58 back up there. And had the Nowhere to go to avoid the wreck there in turn number two. So we get ready to go back racing here. Zach Cheevers right there in second. Hobbs is your leader. Oakley Raglan right there in third. Get ready to go back racing here at the Mighty Midway. Green flag is in the air. Uh, 58 goes around there in turn number one. Caution comes out. As though we're staying green. Staying green. Great save there by the 58. Hobbs is out front though. Still your leader. Oakley Raglan goes around. And caution comes out. Here we go. Lights are going off. Let's get a good run right here. Hobbs is looking for a good long green run right here. Zach Cheevers as well. Derek Cook right there sitting in fourth. Came up there back towards the front. Then got the 27 of John Dame right there in third. Four cars up front. Green flag is back in the air. Hobbs, they are leader out front. Zach Chevers is right there. Good battle there for the lead. A good battle there for third between Derek Cook and John Dane. Zach Chevers making a run there on the inside of Hobbs. Hobbs able to close the door though on Chevers. Here comes Derek Cook though as a 15 of Raglan goes around. Dwayne Hobbs. It's still your leader, Zach Cheevers, right there in second. Now the seventh seed of Derek Cook, right now sitting in third. So this will be an exciting finish right here. It'll be a green, white together. It'll be a one lap shootout right here. He forming the flagman, has the white flag in his hand and the green flag in his hand. One lap right here to finish out. Midwest Mods on opening night. Green flag is in the air. Here it comes out of turn number three and four. Great side-by-side -side battle out of turn number four at the line. Who's it going to be? Dwayne Hobbs getting it done. 
Wow. What a way to start off the 2021 racing season with a finish like that on feature number one. As the Wayne Hobbs will park it down there on the front stretch. New owner of the Mighty Midway, Clint Gann, making his way to hand the, 20, the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs the check. As Dwayne Hobbs and Zach Cheevers at the come out turn number four was side by side. And what a way, great way to take night number one, ladies and gentlemen, the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs. As your, when your leader right now tonight of Mike Piercy, south front not looking back. Brian Piercy right there, bound with the 12 of Dykstra. Right there for third. Fred Dykstra doing a great job keeping in front of that old way to Brian Piercy. Then we got a battle back there. Four six between the K4 of Woods. And the 01 across. Woods there on the inside. Crosses on the outside as they come down the front stretch here. But it's all Mike Piercy out front right now. Your leader come out turn number four. As he will come across the line here. Two more laps to go for the night of Mike Piercy. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Mike Piercy. Got the championship last season. And here we are in 2021. He's getting the feature win on night number one. Craig Dykstra right there behind the 41 of Beck there for a second. But Beck will be coming home second. The 12 of Dykstra coming home third. But it's all the night of Mike Piercy. Getting it done here on night number one. And the newly wrapped pure stock right there. Clint Gant carrying the check for the night of Mike Piercy. Right there. As Mike taking off the safety equipment and helmet right there. What a great win there for the nine of Mike Piercy as he sets the helmet on top of the car. There he is, race fans. Let them hear you. Your pure stock feature winner, the nine of Mike Piercy. Here we go, the stars of the USRA B Mods, and this is how they will come out. On the pole will be the 65 of Chris Jackson. His outside will be the 54 of Sean Whitman. Row number two on the inside will be the 4T of Mitch Armstrong. And on the outside will be the 10P of Dayton Persley. Row number three on the inside will be the 16M of Brian Myers. On the outside will be the six of Jay Flynn. Here, row number four on the inside. It'll be the 39 of the White Brown. And on the outside, it'll be the 28 of Wesley Briggs. There'll be the 10 T of Sam McDaniel right there in shotgun. Two time USRA B Mon National Champion. Well, we'd have been turn number four out of four. Green flag is in the air. Jackson out front. Here comes Persley as he now jumps up to second, coming down the back stretch. 
Sean Whitman staying right there with Persley though, but Jackson will take lap number one. Persley in second, Whitman in third. Here comes Myers there on the inside of Whitman. Side by side back there for third on the back stretch as they go into turn number three. Now four. It's the 54 of Whitman settling right there in third. Jackson giving the car away space for two right there between the, him and the TMP of Persley. Jackson will lead him in turn number three. His night is not done as he's got some drivers right there behind him. Hungry for a win on open tonight. Green flag is in the air. Great battle back there for fourth between Briggs and Flynn. Briggs there on the inside of the 28. Flynn on the outside into six. Down the front stretch they go. Jackson holding that lead. Down in turns number three and four. Pursley trying to run that outside lane around the mighty midway. As Jackson will come out of turn number four. As Jackson comes out of turn number four, he'll get the halfway sign right there. But right now the battle is four and four still going on back here between Briggs and Flynn. Right now, Jackson keeping some space in between him and Persley in the Tempe. As Jackson will come down the front stretch here, Dwight Brown trying to stay on the lead lap. Jackson is right there. Now he'll run on the inside of Brown. Tall as 65 of Chris Jackson. He'll come out of turn number four. Twelve laps in. As Myers working his way back up there. As he's battling with the 28 of uh, Briggs. 4-4 as Myers goes there as the caution comes. Lights are off. We're getting ready to go back racing here. Can Jackson get it done? Or personally do the upset. Green flag is in the air. Jackson with a great start on that restart. He'll come in the turns three and four out of four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Chris Jackson will take it out of turn number four for the final time. Getting the checkered flag. Dane personally coming on second to 54 of Sean Whitman coming home third. From the driver's seat to the Speedway bus to the driver's seat of the B-Mod, Chris Jackson getting it done tonight. As earlier today, first time out on the track, he brought out the bus, loaded the kids up, took them around the Speedway, got behind the wheel of his B-Mod right there, getting it done here tonight in front of his hometown crowd.
Two-time USRA BMAW national champion, Chris Jackson. Getting it done here. Clint Gann down there getting ready to represent the check to Chris Jackson. Out of the race car, let them hear you fans. Your USRA B-Mod feature winner, Chris Jackson. On the pole will be the 21, Ted Walshmeyer. On the outside will be the 53, Denny O'Neill. Row number two on the inside will be the 32, Jim Button. And on the outside will be the 05, Adele Berry. Here we go, get ready to go racing here for the Power Eye Super Stocks feature race here on night number one. Here they come out, turn number four, green flag is in the air. Walsh Myers saying see you later out front with the lead there. Well, we got this car going around there, button going around, but what a great save by him to keep it green and we're still racing. As Walshmeyer out front. As the 35. Or 53 is Danny O'Neill. Sideways in turn number two. Lots of spawns there. The 05 is Dale Berry, who's right now sitting in second. As right now, it's the Ted Walshmeyer show out front. And at 21, Dale Berry in second to 53. Uh, Danny O'Neill right now in third. New class here after Midway Speedway. Just like our street stock class, but on smaller tires. As right now, it's Ted Walshmeyer still out front, your leader. Danny O'Neill closing the gap there on the 05 at Del Berry. Danny O'Neill in the 53. Closing the gap there on the 05 of Dale Berry. Now the back stretch in the turns, three and four. Walshmar goes. Ted Walshmeyer, out front, not looking back. As the 05 and Dale Berry still in second, the 53 and Denny O'Neill in third. Coming in here on lap number 12, he crosses the line. 12 laps in. Three more laps to go for the 21. And Ted Walshmeyer. Ted Walshmeyer getting it done. 
He has two more laps to go. He'll come out, turn number four. White flag will be in the air, one more lap to go. Out of turn number four. Checker flag is in the air for the 21, Tim Walshmeyer. So the 21 to Ted Walshmeyer. We'll park it down there on the front stretch there. He'll get first win here at Midway Speedway in the Power Eye Super Stocks. Great looking car right there as he drove the tires off of that thing right there. Lap after lap, he was getting quicker in the 21W. Ted Walshmeyer getting it done there on night number one here at Lebanon Midway Speedway. As he will take home one of them nice checks here, presented by track owner Clint Gann. There he is, fans. Let him hear you. Your Power Eye Super Stock feature winner, Ted Walshmeyer. On the pole will be the eight of Dylan McCowan on the outside will be the 155 of Terry Kirk. Row number two on the inside will be the nine of Evan Hubert. On the outside will be the 93 of Josh Dugan. Lights are off. 15 laps will be your distance. We look forward to this class to grow throughout the season right here in the USRA AMODs. As next week, we'll have the late models with us. Cash money late models. Green flag is in the air. Dylan McCowan out front, your leader. Dylan McCowan not looking back as he is coming around here for the second time. Al front, the 155 of Terry Kirk right there in second. Evan Hubert in third. Dylan McCowan holding on to the two, three, car length weave right there from the 155 of Terry Kirk. Evan Hubert closing the gap there on Kirk in the 155. As Hubert Closing in on the 155 of Kirk, was they going to turn number four? Here comes Hubert now, he'll take over second. Evan Hubert. Right now in second, but Dylan McCowan. Out front, your leader in the eight. Dylan McCowan, two-time USRA BMON track champion here at Midway Speedway the past two seasons. And here he is behind the wheel of the AMON. As 
as Dylan McCowan. Young man can drive as we have watched him grow in his racing career right here at Midway Speedway. Bill McCowan hitting his marks lap after lap. He'll come out turn number two. Two more laps to go. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. 48 to Jill McCowan. Jill McCowan getting it done here on opening night. Evan Hubert coming home second. Terry Kirk coming home third. Well, we've seen him make his way around this track in a B-Mon. Watched him race when he was younger in the infield on the go-kart track. And now here he is behind the wheel of an A-Mon getting it done here on night number one. Showing us the skills at Yunt. Young driver right there with the eight of Dill McCowan has as he is two time USRA BMON track champion here at Midway Speedway. I'm sure now he is looking for a chance to compete for the track championship in the USRA AMONs here. As he's taking off that safety equipment. Quit Gan down there once again with a check presenting to the eight of Dill McCowan. Here he is, race fans, your USRA A-Mod feature winner, the eight of Dylan McCowan. Green flag is in the air. Tim Day out front, your leader, Randy Dye in second, Eric Contrell to 119 in third. Tim Day, nice looking car right there. Takes lap number one. Track champion last year to 17 of Randy Dye. Him right there in second. Randy Dye closing the gap there on your leader to 20 of Tim Day. Eric Control right there, but Randy Dye right there on the back bumper of Tim Day. Tim Day opening that inside lane, but Randy Dye standing right there behind your leader 20. As they come out of turn number four. John eight there, Logan Woodward has a flat tire there. He'll pull it if it's staying green though. As Tim Day still holding on that lead, but Randy Dye not going away as he's staying right there with your leader. And here it comes the 87 to 31 quick day battling back there for fourth. 
Right now, it's your top two up front there between the 20 of Tim Day and the 17 of Randy Dye. Tim Day holding on to that lead. Randy Dye right there, but caution comes out. As the 87 of Eric. Tim Day is your leader out front. Green flag is in the air. Tim Day out front, your leader. Eric Contrill on the inside there, Randy Dye on the outside. As caution comes out for the 98, Awoken Woodward breathing out the caution. Green flag is in the air. Tim Day going down the back stretch, your leader. Eric Contrell in second. The seven R, the seven S of Alex Scarlett in third. Tim Day. Down the front stretch he goes. Here comes Randy Dye now on the inside of 7X of Alex Scarlett. Scarlett and Dye battling back there for third. Tim Day still your leader. Tim Day, take lap number 10, five more laps to go. Out of turn number four, your order goes. Randy Wright, die right there behind the 119, a control. Contrell trying to hold on to that second place spot. You got battle there right there for second in the third place, the fourth and fifth. As a 20 of 10 day. Comes out turn number four and caution comes out. Here we go, coming out of turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Trouble in turn number one. And caution comes out. Here we go, green, white together, one lap shootout. Tim Day, you're earlier out front. Aaron O'Dell and Randy Dye battling there for a second. Coming out of turn number four, checker flag is in the air for the 20 of Tim Day. 17 of Randy Dye coming home second. The 87 of Aaron O'Dell coming home third.
Tim Day getting it done here, also on night number one. He'll park that nice-looking Hornet right here on the front row right there. Actually, a lot of these cars you've seen tonight was wrapped by Tim Day. He does a great job wrapping and designing the paint schemes of some drivers that race in the area. He will park his Hornet right here on the front stretch. Out of the car, let them hear you race fans. Your Hornet feature winner, the 20 of Tim Day. Once again, fans, we appreciate you for coming out on night number one. We hope you had a great time as this is the place we'll be each and every Friday night right here at the mighty Midway Speedway expecting some exciting things to happen this season as exciting things happen tonight. Hope that you enjoyed tonight. Be back with us next Friday night. Late Models will be with us along with this racing program that we had tonight. But what a night to start off the 2021 racing season right here at Midway Speedway. We'll see you guys back here next Friday night as you will be bringing a carload of people, I hope, with you to enjoy a great night of racing. Drive home safely. Have a great night, a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time right here at the mighty Limited Midway Speedway.